Welcome, sixth grade again. So here are, is our next lesson. Uh, this is on the rulers of Egypt. Uh, your notes for this lesson, what I would like you to do um, is kind of make like a web. So in the middle here, uh, we are going to have ancient Egyptian rulers. All right. I'll just leave it at ancient Egypt. And then you're going to have like five or six uh, bullet points off of this, okay? So again, if you want to do it this style, the web style, this is how uh, it's designed in the book. Uh, or otherwise, you can make a list and bullet points. You can outline it. You know, do whatever. Whatever floats your boat. All right, so let's begin. Okay. Um, so some things about the ancient Egyptian rulers. There were over... There were 31 dynasties or 31 different families from about 3100 BCE to about 332 BCE. Um, and the first dynasty started um, with the Emperor Menes, and he, this is when he united Upper and Lower Egypt. Because at this time, up until this time, they were two separate entities. Uh, interesting fact about the pharaohs uh, is that they had absolute power, so that means that they could create laws. Uh, they were the religious leaders and Again, to go along with polytheism, um, they were considered gods. And if you can remember in polytheism, when um, a ruler is considered a god in human form, all right? And that's what the Egyptians believed as well, okay? Uh, and then Egypt's history is kind of divided up uh, into three different kingdoms. There's the Old Kingdom, um, which is when Menes and his family ruled Egypt. And eventually, uh, the unity crumbled, uh, and the dynasties grew weak. So that means the families grew weak. Uh, this is a time when Nubia uh, conquered them quite a bit. Okay? Uh, during the Middle Kingdom, uh, this is where Egypt is reunited, uh, and the pharaohs focus more of Egypt's wealth on public works instead of wars. Okay? So as we saw with the Mesopotamians, you know, when their civilizations rose, uh, it wasn't necessarily because of all the fighting. It was more because the um, rulers took the time to invest in the irrigation systems, uh, making sure that the people had safe housing, things of that nature. And same thing here with Egypt. Uh, and then lastly, the, the New Kingdom, uh, this is towards the end of Egypt's time, and uh, this is when they had large armies and Egypt was nearly unbeatable. Uh, the only people that were able to defeat them were the Romans, um, back uh, around 332 BCE. Okay? Um, some other interesting facts to know about with this. Um, we have our first ever female pharaoh uh, in the, by the name of Hatshepsut, all right, um, who rules. She points herself to be pharaoh, not pharaohess, but a pharaoh. Um, and then we also have Tutmos III. Uh, these were two very good rulers uh, during the, the New Kingdom time and they lead to a lot of prosper uh, in Egypt. And then lastly, we have Cleopatra IV, um, and she was actually Macedonian, so she was Greek by birth. Um, her mother was, or her father was Macedonian, her mother was Egyptian, I believe, and you know, he, the Egyptians came down and overtook Egypt. Um, and, uh, and she ruled Egypt, and this is when Egypt fell to the Romans. And, I don't know if you've ever heard of the story of Cleopatra, but this is uh, kind of where it comes from. All right. Okay. This is a map of the Egyptian Empire in about 1450 BCE. Uh, I want you to know, just notice the size of it, all right? It's not that wide, okay? It stays near along the Egyptian River, or the Nile River, pardon me, all right? And stays close to the banks of water, okay? So think about it. why would the empire not be as not be that wide? You know why not consider why is, why don't they consider all of this as Egypt? All right, why not take all of this over here as Egypt as well? Okay, why just keep the empire in this purple region here near these bodies of water? All right. So that's what I want you to think about um, when we go come to talk to class. We're going to hopefully answer some of these questions of why is it that you know the Egyptian Empire, this big, powerful empire, inter 
in terms of size and wealth and prosperity, but yet in terms of land size, it's quite small. Okay, so think about it. So why, why is Egypt small in land size? All right, so think about that question uh, when, when you come to class and we will hopefully answer it in class. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, it's been great talking to you guys again. Have a great night. Bye.